what am I gonna fucking eat today? I don't know, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and eat something. But if I'm in the back seat and I'm obviously right here in this one, the OG car right here, um, you know what I'm saying? It's another high. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes I feel like the weed, like, inspires certain kind of food that you want to eat. Like every time I eat OG, like. I want to eat something heavy, like a fucking steak or some shit, you know, or like, like, like some chicken and waffles or some shit, you know, but every time I'm smoking something like when I smoke it right now, like this delicious ass grape soda, Ooh. Ooh. like that beat they play on the radio. <laughs> yeah, right there. Um, yeah, this like this, this always makes me go for the sweets. And you know, if I'm sitting back here in the back seat, I'm not just kicking that parking lot piffing. I'm over here plotting on what I'm going to eat. It's another episode of High and Hungry, Season 2, on Be Real TV. And today, we're going to fucking check out the Dream Donut Truck. Now, you like before, like before you, when you hear the name, you're thinking Dream Donut Truck. Like, you're wondering, like, yo, what's up? Are these fucking, you know, are these, are these donuts going to put you to sleep? What's the deal? Is it donuts you dream about? Because I didn't really know about it until, like, the Be Real TV fam started bringing me around. Let me tell you about this place. There's a lot of great donut joints like in the, all over LA. And I know we've done one pre previously, like we did Donut Man. Today we're gonna hunt them down because I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that we get these donuts. I've been wanting to put them on for a while. If you came to the Green Thumb Experience, you've tried these donuts. If you came to any of our affiliated Green Thumb events where we're live broadcasting, you fucking ate these donuts. If you've been to some kind of big weed event, like the popping ones, you probably had these donuts. It is not like you're, uh, you know, it's not like a regular, like, fucking 16 feet or whatever, however fucking feet. Uh, uh, yeah, I want to say it's about the size of, like, two of my SUVs that I'm, like, sitting in right now. So it's it's a fairly small truck. And uh, to give you guys a bit of perspective, they show up at these locations where they usually cater and they make special kind of donuts. So sometimes they'll put your name on it. I've had the Be Real TV donut being a part of Be Real TV and everybody else in the studio has. And it's it was it was amazing, you know, which made me which made me want to go ahead. I love donuts. First time I saw somebody eat a donut was like in The Simpsons. And, like, you know, what I mean, that's like Homer had that pink donut, the one that he's famous for. And I was like, yo, like, where the fuck are these donuts at? And then I started like really getting into it. And that's always been one of my favorite foods. And uh, these donuts, they they they're pretty they're pretty custom. They have their own twist. They have uh, we have a cocoa nugs donut, for example, which is a combination of cocoa nugs uh, and the donut with their own twist. Sometimes they have cocoa nugs nugs sprinkled on it. Sometimes it's inside. This place has uh, like the custom B Real TV donut that they've done for us. It has a white chocolate glaze with uh, colored chocolate writing on it. Uh, I, I I believe I had one that was filled. It was even though it was a maple bar, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But it, it was fucking delicious. They have their own fucking twist to this fucking place. It's the perfect place for you stoners that if you want to go ahead and get high on your way there, on your way back, and you want to take a box of some sweets that you're just going to fuck up, you get yourself a dozen because everything is different. They got donuts with bacon and chocolate. They got fucking maple bars that you fucking ain't never seen. The f I don't know if it's what kind of lemon they fucking put in their lemon jelly filled. But that shit is fucking amazing. It's like some some lemon marmalade or some shit. You know the thing about donuts is like, you can't you gotta eat those shits with. They have like a butterfly's uh, life expectancy. If you don't eat those shits within a certain amount of time, it's gonna go from being a beautiful snack to like just being a piece of crap. Like you ever notice the donuts like they fucking get really dry if you leave them out or if you have them in there for a couple days. So like my my donut advice to all you stoners, buy them. Eat them and finish them as fast as you can. I know it's fucked up, but that's the only way you're gonna get them at their prime. You know what I mean? Like you don't, you don't wait to drink milk or fucking uh or 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 something to like the day before it expires. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to enjoy that motherfucker. I don't know who the fuck invented donuts. It's like for real. But let me see my what do you call it analogy? You ever been to that candy store, the sugar factory, where you pick your own candy? You know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you pick your own candy and they have a variety of everything in there. It's like that store had some of his best candies. Fuck a donut shop and all the donuts in that, all the fucking donuts in that shop got pregnant. And then, like, somebody threw some bacon in the mix. And that's what, that's what came out of there. <coughs> <coughs> hey, the MVP, the mailman. By the way, after this, uh, after this episode... Since we've done two fucking donut donut joints, 
the fucking high and hungry donut t-shirt will be released on the website so go to flavors by and you go ahead and you check that out you cop yourself if you love donuts and you like being high and hungry get that one by the way the high and hungry burger t-shirt is uh the first one that has been out so if you want to go ahead and order that make sure you order it uh free hat pins with all the people that ordered through high and hungry on the youtube and uh yeah just, just fuck with your boy trust <laughs> Man, that shit tastes good. <laughs> if you guys ever come out to California, if you're from California, <coughs> you need to get yourself what's in this box. <coughs> Some pina colada. Totilita, tilita, tilita. Delita, 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 on me! What's up, y'all? Uh, well, we're back on High and Hungry, and uh, we managed to track track this truck down, all right? I'm over here in, like, a very nice suburb neighborhood and shit. It's very nice over here, and uh, I found the donut truck. The dream donut truck. This is not your normal, regular donut stuff that you're used to. Like, your donut shop that you're used to down the street that sells you the sandwiches, this is not your regular one. I'm about to show you what this is about right here. So, let's go ahead and open this up. <sighs> There we go. Here How are you? How you doing? What's up, man? This is well. Welcome to High Hungry. This is Vahe, the owner, one of the owners of uh, the Dream Donut Truck. I, I let people know about uh, you know, season two. I was gonna get a little bit more in depth. So, can you let the people know what where this where where this Dream Donut thing started? Cause yeah, it's for not, sure. It's not your normal type of like get up for donuts, bro. No, we basically we had this shirt design a few years ago. This one right here. Donuts roll. Uh, donuts roll everything around me, and then that transitioned into this truck. I mean, it's a long story in between how that went down. Uh, we were like delivering donuts for a while. And you guys then, were a delivery service. Like, yeah, we were doing delivery, and then we had the idea of um, uh, doing a truck while we were doing all these weddings and stuff. So we said, let's make it happen, and sure enough, we did. And we usually do specialty donuts. It's an exclusive truck that carries California donuts. They've been around for 36 years in Koreatown, LA. Where do these flavors come from? Like the exclusive ones, like you were saying. The exclusive ones. It's stuff that I thought of, or okay, me so and, it's me like and a one of the owners that okay. collaborated Perfect. with on ideas and stuff. Yeah. So look at that. They got custom flavors. Now, I was talking about that the first time I see somebody eat a donut was uh, this actual donut. And I'm actually excited. It's actually here because I said I was like I didn't I knew what donuts were, but every time I saw somebody eat one in my family. I would see like the plain ones and that wouldn't be appealing. But when I saw the motherfucker, you know, Homer Simpson eat the, the donut, and you actually do, it's called the dough. Yeah, it's like dough. The dough yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So, so what's for today, we got a, a Snickers bar, which has a whole Snickers bar inside of it. Holy shit. Uh, we got the blueberry cinnamon toast crunch. Um, old fashions here. We got a maple old fashioned, matcha green tea old fashioned. Matcha green tea. Yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, chocolate sprinkles, strawberry sprinkles, cookies and cream, which is Oreo and a white chocolate. And uh, we got uh, buttermilk up here. Plain glaze and a maple bar. What's like your top like uh, flavor that you have here for all the people that really come see you, bro? Honestly, uh, chocolate maple bacon is one of our top sellers. Damn, yeah. I've had that one before. Yeah, that one. He, what about out of this selection? What would out you of this selection, probably the Snickers and cookies and cream. Snickers and cookies and cream. All right, so. And since it's a little early, blueberry cinnamon toast crunch is a good hit too in the morning. You know what, or man? I'm going to place my order and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a couple back, all right? You come in here, you get any one of these. and the, the, the There's enough donuts for the menu to rotate. You know what I'm saying? There's enough fucking donuts for the, everything to get around. So you can actually, you know, 
if you, if you if you don't catch them one day the menu might be different the next time so you get a different experience every time however this right here i'm like i'm excited for because i've been wanting to share this, this this taste of happiness that i get right here you know we get the green thumb experience and all these bureau tv exclusives you can now go ahead and join in on the fun because you got to follow these guys how do how do people go ahead and, and get you get, guys sorry and we also have stumptown coffee too stumptown coffee yeah, so we got stumptown Damn. Shit, shit. um Oh yeah, you can That's reach us at, uh, at Dream Donut Truck on all social media outlets. At Dream Donut Truck, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Instagram's like the most uh, happening right now. So. For you all you high and hungry people and you guys need a summer and you guys like my analogies, it's like an ice cream truck, fuck the donut shop. And like <laughs> like somewhere along the line, they birthed it, all these wonderful fucking donuts right yeah. here. Because low-key, it is like, this is, this is like, I wish ice cream trucks like rolled around like this. Like, man, this is like, this is as good as it gets. This is like a fucking pit my ride. Fucking Thank you guys, man. We're putting right. a lot of effort to make it look clean, you know. It used to be a newspaper truck in the Bay Area. We brought it down here. Yeah. We mm -hmm. kept it. We kept everything Cali, so. Newspaper truck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see what this is, people? This is a fucking custom donut right here. This is Cinco de Mayo edition because we're like, you know, that's, that's happening this weekend. I know you're probably going to see this episode afterwards, but in case you guys need any custom donuts, like let's just say I wanted to get my fucking logo, like the E on there, on all my donuts, they could fucking make that happen. If Be Real TV, which they wanted their own custom donuts and they have had it, they've done it before. So trust me, do not hesitate to hit them up at Dream Donut Truck that, you know, make your donut dreams come true. I'm, and this is actually jelly filled. Look at this. You see that ooze right there? You see that? So literally, as you see it oozing out, it's like literally fucking filled in there. Like, I don't know, like literally all the inside. So we're going to go ahead and fucking take this bite real quick. It's like what every stoner fucking wants, bro. <laughs> It's not no cheap chocolate. It fucking melts the moment you bite it. The regular dark chocolate on top of the white chocolate. This is fucking top notch right here, all right? If you love jelly donuts or just donuts in general, you need to go ahead and get you one of these. This is actual real fucking jelly. You take, there's some seeds inside there, like legit fucking, uh, what is it? Marmalade like seeds, you know what I mean? From some, probably whatever raspberry jelly it is. Smoking the way we smoke before prior to coming here. Can't beat it. I feel like I, I feel like that feeling where uh, when I used to go do laundry with my mom, there used to always be a donut shop nearby. And then you just sit there with some chocolate milk and a donut waiting. But this is where like everything changes for these kids nowadays. So this is what they get to experience, yeah, you know? They're pretty spoiled right now. Fuck yeah, like they get on their phone and they could be like, oh, there's a laundry mat by there. Yeah, and we're thankful, we're thankful for that too because, you know, a lot of times we post and then they roll up and it's, it's a blessing. You just can't not, you just can't not, not roll up. Yeah. This right here is legit, has raspberries in it, man. Like it literally has raspberries. I just chewed one in there. Like I just bit one and there was a little chunk in there. Like how much more quality does this get for you guys? Man, it's all, and you have to see high hungry. We feature places that we think are popping, man. Whenever we come here, bro, whenever we do a high hungry, it's because we fucking genuinely love the place, man. Sure. We genuinely love the food. And for the love of donuts, I mean, I fucking chowed this shit down right <laughs> yeah, here. Like, you this, that on camera. <laughs> yeah, like I fucking burned this on camera. Like, the dough, I was talking about this earlier. People that make donuts, step your dough game up. All right, you guys gotta get like this, man. This shit does not get hard for a long time. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, you know, if I, I it has it has a better life expectancy than your typical butterfly. Like I was saying, like all those regular donut shops, that shit dies just along with the brand new butterfly. But this, man, this shit you can even like, let me tell you guys a little trick. And I've done it before. It's some real fat people shit right here. All right, you get the Snickers donut, right? You get one of those little ovens. You know the ones you have in your kitchen. You put a little piece of foil under it. That way it doesn't get messy. And you put it just for maybe like seven to eight minutes on like 300 degrees. That way that Snickers gets soft. The fucking chocolate starts melting on there. Nice day, yeah. And then when you take it out, you let it cool down for about one minute. And you cut that motherfucker up, dog. And you get some of this chocolate milk. That's some real high and hungry fat shit right there, man. <laughs> That's like hot off the press. America has come a long way from just wanting to just start a you know, regular business. Nowadays, everything's gotta come with the bells and whistles. You gotta fucking be able to run track with that shit. 
You know what I mean? They got to go all out. And I mean, you guys have uniqueness here. You guys have unique donuts. You guys are mobile. So you guys don't have just a hub where people could just be like, oh, I be we could just go there a thousand times before. Because like, yeah. what if you decide to do one day a donut tour? You know what I mean? Fuck that artist don't need to just go on tour. You take a donut tour. You take this shit everywhere, man. You know? I'm fucking literally feeling like a kid right now. It's a different twist on donuts. It is some of the best damn donuts I've had. This has been a high and hungry season two, exclusive on B-Real TV. I'm gonna go ahead and try another one, man. Fuck this, bro. I got the whole milk here. Look at this. Y'all missing out, people. Look at that. Y'all missing out. Oh, this is the one that I really want to try. <laughs> Ooh, people. This is the one. Before I leave, let me let y'all know. Let me let y'all enjoy this right here. Look at this. Blueberries in it. Purple custard. Wash it down with chocolate milk. Cheers, y'all.